Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me on my first tutorial video. Thank you for the loves, the likes, everything. It gives me more motivation to do more videos. And yeah, I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed. And I've gotten some requests um, asking me how I keep my eyeshadow on so long. So for me, the most important part obviously is just priming um, your eyelid so the shadows can stay on all day. So in today's tutorial, I'm just gonna give you guys like a more detailed what I do with my eyeshadows and what I do to my eyelids so I can prime them. So how I keep on my eyeshadow on all day. And hopefully it works for you guys too. Um, my skin is naturally really oily and my eyelids are really oily, like I have oily eyelids. So I did a lot of trial and error before I figured out like a perfect way for me to keep my, eye my eyeshadows on all day. And for me it works, I love it, it keeps them on all day. Let's say I put it on at 8 in the morning and I come back home and at 9pm it's still there in the same spot I left it. So yeah, if you guys want to watch and learn and see how I do my eyeshadow, then just keep on watching. Okay, so this is my first step that I do when I prime my eyes. I use this one. This eye sh this is an eye primer. It's from Urban De Decay. And it's called Primer Potion. And this is what I use. And I apply this on my lids. And then I let it dry. And then I set it with a setting powder. Or you can set it with whatever eyeshadow palette you're using. Just make sure when you set the eye primer, you set it with like your skin tone color. Either like, you know, a white based shadow, like with white or something more brown. Whatever your skin tone is, try to match that shadow to your eyelid so it can look like your skin. And basically that's how you put the primer on and you set it. It's important that you set your eye primer. If you don't set your eye primer and then you put it on, you let it dry and then you try going in with uh, your eye look already. Once you start trying to put colors in your crease or on your eyelid, it's not gonna blend easy and it's gonna look patchy on your um, eyelids and it's not gonna look good. So always remember that you put your primer on first and then you set it with a setting powder or you set it with one of the eyeshadows that you're using from your palettes. Okay, so for today's example, I'm going to be using the Lorac palette that I have. It's the Lorac Pro 3. It was like a limited, limited edition for the winter season. So for example, let's say I put my primer on. I'm going to use from this palette one of the lightest shades. Either I'm going to use right here, crepe, or either I'm going to use pink cream to set my eyelids. And then I'll put it all over in my eyelid, in my crease, everywhere, and I'll set the primer. And then once I set the primer, I can start doing my eye look. Now let's say that you're on a budget, and let's say that you can spend, because this uh, primer that I use is perfect for oily eyelids, which I have. I have oily eyelids, so I really recommend it. If you have oily eyelids, this works wonders. Um, but it's also pretty pricey. For this one, it's $20, so if you don't have that in your budget right now and you don't want to spend the money for it, I suggest trying to put a concealer as your eye primer. It works wonders. I love using concealer too. Sometimes I don't use this all the time. Sometimes I use whatever concealer I have on hand and uh, for example, this is a Mary Kay concealer that I use. I just put it all over my eyes, everywhere. And then I just set it with my eyeshadow or my powder, my translucent powder. I set it and you're good to go. You can start doing your eyeshadow looks as well. So if this is not in your budget, then use whatever you have on hand. You can do that and there's so many concealers on the market and also there's so many eyeshadow primers on the market. I'll list some below so you can um, see the different price ranges that they have so you can see what works good for your budget. Sorry guys, the sun was going down and my lighting was bad. So, 
Another tip I suggest for oily eyelids and also I have oily eyelids and I have hooded eyes and deep set eyes. So like for example when I want to put like let's say shimmer on my lid and I don't prime, I don't do anything, I just put it on there. Like maybe two, three hours later, this shimmer will be in my crease right here or even higher to my brow. And that's what you don't want. You want, when you put your shadows, the colors to stay where they're supposed to stay. And it's really hard if you have hooded eyes and deep set eyes. I mean, depending on your eye shape, you have to figure out different ways what you can do so you can make the eyeshadow look good and last on all day. Another tip I suggest, since my eyes are hooded and deep set in, and I will put a picture of different um, eye shapes in this video, so you can take a look at it, maybe look it up and see what you feel like your eye shape is. This is glitter glue that I use. And I put this when I want to use shimmer shades on my eyelid. So I finished priming, I finished setting everything. And let's say I did already my colors on my crease. And now I'm ready to put color on my lid. And I want to use a shimmer shade. And this is best with shimmer shades. Because obviously if you have a matte on your lid and it creases, it won't really, you can't tell that much as a shimmer. The shimmer, you can see it all up in your crease up here. So it does not look good when that happens. So I use this on my lid and it is for glitter, but also it makes the shimmers pop too. And they last, long, they last longer and this is really tacky. So when you put the shimmer shadow on, it will just stick right to it. And it will also make your shadow last all day and longer. So I suggest um, if you have that problem with oily eyelids, or in general, if you just put shimmer shades on your eyelid and they keep like transferring where you don't want it to go, try the glitter glue. This one is expensive too. I believe this one is, gosh, $22 or $20 around there. But um, there's so many dopes for this. You can also do the NY, NYX one, glitter glue. I heard that one was really good and way cheaper, like $8.99. So try different things and see what you like. Um, so yeah, that's my suggestion for keeping the shimmer shades on longer. Also, here's a quick tip for shimmer shades in your lid or whatever you want to put it. You can put in your crease, in your lid, on your brow bone. If you want to make it more pop, I suggest using um, the Fix Plus. This one is from MAC and I believe they're the only brand that does this Fix Plus. Um, you can use it on your shimmer shades and they'll make them more foiled, more shinier than just rather putting the shimmer shades on your lid and that's it. If you want to have the look to pop more, I suggest that you use that. And I love it. It works wonders. Also, let's say that you don't have the Fix Plus. You can also use a, a little bit of setting spray that you put on your face at the end of your whole makeup look. You have a setting spray and you just spritz it all over your face. So that setting spray, you can take your brush, put the shimmer shade on there and spritz it a little bit and it'll do the same thing like Fix Plus. So like I said, just use what you have around the house if it's not in your budget and just work with what you got with. And um, those are basically what I use to keep my shadow on all day and making sure it doesn't crease because of how oily my eyelids are and how they're very like, to me, my eyelids are very hooded. They're all the way deep set. So I try my best. I mean, I've done a lot of trial and errors one thing I say for me that I won't do again is one time I put foundation all over my face and then I'm like, hey, why not put foundation on my eyelids too and then set it with the setting powder and that should be good for my eyeshadows. Well, I did my eyeshadow all nice, beautiful, it looked good like for an hour or two. And then, yeah, I guess three hours later, it was creasing everywhere. I had shadow like the shimmer was all the way up here and my crease was up here. It looked like it was melting, like my shadow looked like it was melting all over my face. And I'm like, never again, that's never again, I'll never do that. So, 
what works best for me is either eyeshadow primer or concealer is to me the same it works so good so i suggest that you try one of those out and let me know what you think about it if it works for you uh, i'm gonna do a little tutorial right now um on how i apply the primer and everything and on one eye i'm gonna set everything like my primer and everything and start putting um, shadows in my crease and blending and on the other eye i'm not gonna set it so i can show you how important it is to set your primer after you put it on because if you don't set it it's going to be so hard for you once you start putting colors in your crease to blend it out you're going to have the hardest time blending it out and you'll have like patches of color then you have to try to work that out and uh, it'll just be harder for you so yeah if you want to see how i how it works when i prime my eye then yeah just keep on watching and i'll show you the tutorial right now cut my eye And I just take my finger and I just rub it in my skin, all over my lid. Like so. And right now, in a little bit, it's going to start getting tacky and you're going to feel it if you keep blinking. So, let's prime the other eye. Let me get my little wand. Now I'm going to prep this eye. Okay, and I'm going to dab it with my finger again, make sure the product is rubbed in, like so. And in a little bit, I already start feeling it, I don't know if you can see it, but I can start feeling the tackiness already. So, we're just going to let this do its magic, and then... I will set this eye and I won't set this eye. That way you can see when you start putting your color in the crease or even on your eyelids, how hard it will be to blend out because you did not set it. It's gonna be tacky, so it's gonna grab shadow wherever it can and it's just gonna look all patchy. So I'll show you the difference right now. Okay, so now from the eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna be using this one right here, pink cream, okay? I'm going to use that to set this eye. So we're going to get a little bit of on our brush. Tap off the excess. Whoa, it's a lot of excess on this. And just start putting it in your, your whole eye. So like so. If you need to grab more, grab more. I always like to put a lot. Make sure that's set. Okay, so this eye is primed and it's set. I set it with the powder. This eye, I did not set it at all. I just put the primer on and now let's go in with the crease color and see what happens. If it'll be, which one will be more smoother? The one that I did not set with the powder or the one that I set with the powder? So let's find out. Okay, so now for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do I'm going to start off with a really dark crease color so you can see the difference between the one that I set and the eyelid that I did not set. So I am going to go in with a dark color. Let me see which color I want. Hmm. Okay. Let's do walnut. That one right there. That brown. 
It's a beautiful kind of warm tone brown. I'm gonna put that one in the one that I set and I'm gonna put that color in the one I didn't set and we'll see what happens. So here goes nothing. Tap up the excess. And then let's start putting in our crease and see what happens. Let's do the one that's set. See, it, it's blending really smoothly and I'm not having a hard time moving my brush back and forth. It's like smooth, smoothly blending. So I'm gonna go, go, go. I'm gonna get some more on my brush. Some more color. And you just keep blending till you get your desired blend that you like. And blend it up. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the brush and do this eye. The one that we did not set with the powder. Let's give it a go. So if you can see. I'm already having a hard time blending it. It's not blending that good. At all. Yeah, the brush is having a hard time gliding so easily back and forth. Okay, and this is what it looks like so far. Let me get you guys up close. I don't know if you guys can see the brush strokes. This is the um, lid that I did not set with the powder. But I can see the bust strokes in my crease. Um, so yeah, you will get that. And if you use even a darker color in your crease, it'll be so hard to blend out. Now let me show you the other eye. This is my eyelid, the one that I did prime with the eyeshadow. With the base, either a clear uh, eyeshadow that's my skin color, or you can do it with the translucent powder. You can tell that the shade in here is blended very nicely and you don't see those brush strokes in there. So yeah, those are my recommendations for you. Um, that's how I keep my eyeshadow on all day and long and it works for me. So I wanna know if it's gonna work for you. And most importantly, the last step that's really important that you guys should not skip at all is have fun, really, just have fun with it. Play around with it, see what kind of eye looks you like, what kind of eyeshadow looks you like. Do you like bold, do you like crazy colors, or do you like neutrals? Or do you like more simpler eye looks, or things of that nature? Just play around with it and see what you like. And because makeup is art and you just have fun with it. It's nothing like with rules or you have to make your eyeshadow this way or that color. No, do whatever you want, do whatever makes you happy. Um, but those are my steps that I use to keep the shadow, the colors on all day. So try it and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know if it works for you, for your eyelids. I want to know um, your reactions if it stayed on all day or night or whatever you're going to be doing. But yeah, most importantly, just have fun with it. You do you, you have fun with it, and just go with the flow. It doesn't matter what people say or think. I think makeup is just a beautiful art and you can show on your canvas whatever you want, whatever you feel artistic about. If you want to do something colorful, something neutral, every eye look, every makeup look is beautiful in its own way. So I say 
just keep on practicing practice every day practice until you see what you like you get down what you like what works for your eyes for your eye shape uh so yeah just continue to do your thing and what makes you happy that's what i say and i'm sorry about the lighting if um it's not the best lighting i'm still working on getting good lighting and i want to do i'm working on getting a nice background so yeah i'm still working on all that good stuff and I'm, I'm excited because I have some awesome idea to, ideas for videos in the future. I'm actually working on one of them right now. And then I was thinking, you guys let me know in the comments below. I want to do um, a lipstick series because I love lipstick. That's like my favorite thing. I'm a lipstick junkie. Um, I collect a whole bunch of crazy lipstick colors, neutrals, colors, green, pinks yellow you name it you say the color i probably will have that in my collection i love lipsticks so i was thinking about doing a lipstick series like from what are my top brands what i like um for my lips quality wise price wise and that way um if you guys have any suggestions or anything you guys want to try out or something that i have in my collection that i could review for you guys i can do that for you guys so just let me know what you guys think about lipstick series, uh, maybe a get ready with me series, and just more stuff to come in the future. But again, I am so happy you guys stuck with me. You guys um, are the ones that are making me, like giving me a lot of motivation to keep on doing videos because I get all these questions asked. I've been I've been getting questions about like makeup, you know about having your eyeshadow stay on all day or what primer would I recommend or you know mascara or eyeshadow or lipstick and it gives me more motivation to just let everybody know what I have went through and my experiences and to see if they work for you so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are at and just remember stay blessed and stay humble thank you for watching till the end you guys have a good day or night. Bye.